When Sean sent me the script to Randy's canvas, I read it all in one sitting and I was in. When I read that, it was a month ago. I haven't moved from the seat since that month ago. Randy's canvas is unique. It's a nonprofit film and it's about this aspiring artist, he's a college-age kid who happens to have Asperger's syndrome, a, a form of autism, and, and it's his story. It's like all these movies and television, yeah. they have like autistic characters that play into all these all these stereotypes so that you know neurotypicals sort of understand, but really they don't. It's it's more than just entertainment because, first of all, the proceeds of the film will benefit autism charity and at the same time draw attention to autism worldwide in a positive way. Everyone seems to think there's only two, two kinds of autism. You're, you're either a genius or you're a retard. And that word is the most offensive word that I've ever heard in my life. This isn't uh, a true story. And this isn't a Hollywood take on autism. They either have the kid's a genius or he's poor socially. They have to understand it's a mix of both. And it's, more, it's more nuanced than people think. It's this is a well-crafted fictional story of Randy and his journey as he falls in love for the first time and the trials and tribulations of pursuing a career as an artist. The role of Randy is going to be more than just a character I portray. It's something important that I need to do and do it right. We'll be partnering with the Autism Project in Rhode Island, where we also plan to shoot the movie. Uh, such a beautiful setting. And this will lend authenticity to Randy's character as he acts and reacts and exists in the film, just like he would in the real world. I just wonder when it became brave to be who we are. Because sometimes I feel like the bravest thing that people can do is be themselves. The problems people on the autism spectrum face are, are real. and constant and unfair. My sister got a little bit jealous of me for all the because of all the attention I got for, you know, trying to take care of the diagnosis, making sure I was taken care of. A lot of people don't know that people with disabilities in the 1950s were locked up in homes and separated from their families because they had a disability. Right. And they don't recognize that that's something that we could easily go back to out of fear. Working with the Autism Project and so many people on the spectrum, I've seen joy and laughter, fear and hope, love, commitment, and dedication. I saw real people like myself, but I'm also aware of society's unfair stigma associated with autism. The fear is something different, but there's nothing to be afraid of. I've worked with Adam going on 10 years now, I think, and. He's one of the most passionate and dedicated guys I know. Anyone that knows me thinks of me as a crazy comedy guy, but playing Randy is an amazing opportunity to me to stretch as an actor. Look at that, a lot of hand movements, I like it. And he's gonna be a fresh face to Randy, and we'll introduce audiences to an up and coming talent that they can discover together. It's a, it's a gift, it's, it's different. You don't think about it, like people think about it as a difference, but. It, it's just a gift, in a sense, that I was, I was special, I was always been taught that I was special, that, you know, I'm no different from anybody else, I just have a few gifts that other people don't. Randy's Canvas will be my third feature film as director, and my team, producers, cinematographer, production designer, music supervisor, they all have experience on successful films. And yeah, we're gonna make this for a micro budget in Hollywood terms, but with the team, it's gonna look like a million bucks. My hope for this film is to show audiences that a kid, young adult, or anyone with autism can follow their dreams, fall in love, and have a fulfilling life. At the end of the day, Randy's canvas will be seen by a wide and diverse audience who will fall in love with the arts. Maybe the artist too.